economy's bad. We have ISIS, we have homegrown terror, uh, we have a financial crisis, we have uh, election year, and man, that's really messed up. And if we, if we concentrate on these things all the time, we can become discouraged and fearful and anxious. That's not where we need to be as Christians. We don't have to be there. Greater is he that is in me than he that is in the world. So, so I want to give you a few things today that would just encourage you and lift your spirits. Uh, no, we as Christians, we don't need to put our head in the sand and not know what's going on. But we don't have to live in fear. We have the unchangeable, unmovable promises of God that are applied to us and that we can rest on and that we can have a firm foundation underneath us. The rest of the world will be in chaos. The rest of the world can spin out of control. We as God's children have something very solid and very precious, and that's the, that's the never-changing and unmovable promises of, of our living God. He's by my side as long as my eyes are on the key. As long as my eyes are on the key. Well, here we are. God said that in the last days, perilous times would come and that evil men would become worse and worse and worse. I don't know about you, but I feel very strongly that we are living in those last days. But if we're not careful, we as God's children can become overwhelmed with fear and worry and anxiety and there's a better way to live. There's a better way to get through these last days. And I want to show you that today. I want to be an encouragement to you. I want to lift your spirits as I've needed mine lifted so many times. I've been a, a Christian since February 1990. I remember when Christ saved me, when he turned me into a, a new creature, when he uh, brought me out of all the, the struggles and the, the drugs, the addiction, Everything that I was facing at that time, God uh, gloriously rescued me. Since I got saved, I've been a pastor. I was a pastor for 18 years. I was an evangelist, recording artist, singer, songwriter for five years, uh, full-time on the road. Now I'm an associate pastor and worship leader at a church. But even when you look at all those things, I... Um, that I have been and the things that I've done, a lot of things you don't see about me is that one of the things that about me that uh, a lot of people don't know is my struggle that I had with anxiety and fear. Uh, for many years I lived as a what if thinker. Uh, what if this happens? What if that happens? And, and after a while it just takes its toll on you. It was one of the worst struggles of my life. It was one of the worst times of my life when I became so when I, when I was so overcome with anxiety and fear that I didn't think I was going to come out of it. But I can tell you today that, that I have come out of it and that God is good. And in that process and through that process of me struggling with my anxiety and fear and panic attacks and, and all that kind of stuff, um, God once again delivered me from that just like he delivered me from everything else. He showed me the way out. He, he he led me by the hand and brought me to a better place. And one of the things that I struggled with most during that time was trusting him and living by faith. See, we as Christians are called to live by faith. And when we don't live by faith and we, we live instead in worry and fear all the time, see, it's a contradiction. A, a Christian feels conflicted when those things happen because God calls us to a life of faith. And so every day when we struggle with fear and anxiety, it's actually a faith battle is what it is. Am I going to trust God or not? God's been so good to me, I'll tell you. And there was many times whenever I didn't trust him. And even after I became a Christian, I still struggled in that area of being able to lay everything down at his feet and let him have his way in my life and just rest in the fact that knowing that he's in control. See, many of us today struggle with the same things, and I just want to be an encouragement to you today. One of the, you know...
365 times in the Word of God, God tells us not to fear, not to be afraid. See, He knows what uh, fear can do to us. He knows where it can take us. And a life where we're not trusting God is, is a life that that is just a miserable life, especially if you're a Christian, because we are supposed to be living by faith. It says that whatsoever is not of faith is sin. And it also says in the book of Hebrews that if we come to God, we must come to Him believing that He is God and that He is a rewarder of them that diligently seek Him. So there's, yeah, there's a lot of things to be fearful about today, but we don't have to be. In Philippians, the Bible tells us in, in uh, chapter 4 and verse Verse 6, that it says to be anxious for nothing. But in everything, by prayer and supplication, with thanksgiving, let your request be made known unto God. Right there, God taught me to bring my anxieties to Him. Let Him have them. He said, bring them to me. Just don't be anxious. But instead of being anxious, He said, just come to me in prayer and thanksgiving and supplication. And then he promised in the next verse, he said, when you do that, when you bring those things to me, when you come to me in thanksgiving and supplication and prayer, I'll set up a garrison around you. He said, the peace of God that passes all understanding will guard your hearts and minds through Christ Jesus. And so as we look at the world events and we look at everything that's happening today, I can certainly understand the fear because I used to live there myself. But now as a Christian, I have the Holy Spirit of God living inside of me. And I don't have to think about things the way that I used to think about them because my God is in control. And He wants to lift you up today. And so I encourage you today, no matter what's going on in your life, no matter what fears that you have, no matter what things are taking place around you in the world, I encourage you to be anxious for nothing. But instead, to go to Him. Go to Christ in prayer and supplication and thanksgiving and let Him set up that garrison around you. Let Him set up that guard around your heart and bring you peace in the midst of the storm. And then the next verse says to think on these things. And it gives us a whole list of things to think about. So don't be anxious today. I encourage you. Don't be anxious. Bring it to the Lord and then turn your thoughts to those things that he says to think about. He loves you today, and that's my purpose in life now. I believe with all my heart that's what God wants me to tell others, that he loves you. Whether you're a Christian or not, he loves you. He gave you Jesus, and he wants you to be safe. He wants you to be secure. And you can have that peace, even in the midst of life storms. You can have that peace. Okay.